So while I was in Arizona last month, we uh, visited several places, uh, several historical places, and one of the ones I was excited about seeing um, was kind of in an obscure place out in Superior, Arizona, the grave of Maddie Earp, uh, Wyatt Earp's common-law wife. And uh, she died of suicide. I believe she overdosed on some uh, latinum. Anyway, this cemetery is uh, kind of, it was kind of hard to get to. It's kind of hard, it's a little hard to find because there's no signs or anything for it. It's out in the middle of the desert. Uh, we had a little bit of a hard time getting there in the little car we had. We had a little Kia Optima. And, uh, you know, if we'd had an SUV or even a little crossover, it would have been a lot better. But uh, we did find it. Very cool Old West Cemetery. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of graves, a lot of unmarked graves look like. Uh, but anyway, I want to do a video here on Maddie Earp. And I also, I'm going to do another video on the cemetery itself. But um, anyway, check out this video. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So me and Haley are here in the old historic, but now, cemetery right outside of Superior, Arizona. Visiting the grave of Matty Earp. It's a cemetery. It's kind of small, I think. <clears throat> Look, right, that's her. Who? That's her, Maddie Earp. See? Yeah. In memory, Cecilia Belaylock, aka Maddie Earp. July 3rd, 1888. Suicide, Pinal. Sad. So she killed herself? Mm-hmm. I think a drug overdose. How do people do that? She was the common law wife of Maddie or of Wyatt Earp. Did she die after her husband or before? Way before. He died in nineteen twenty nine, I think. Don't break the cactus. Celia Ann Maddie Blaylock, January 1850 to July 3rd, 1888, was a prostitute who became the romantic companion and second wife, common law wife, of Old West lawman and gambler Wyatt Earp for about three years. Knowledge of her place in Wyatt's life was concealed by Josephine Earp his later common-law wife, who worked hard to protect her and Wyatt's reputation in their later years. Her early life. Maddie was born Celia Ann Blaylock in Monroe Township, Johnson County, Iowa, near Fairfax, Iowa, to Henry Blaylock and Elizabeth Betsy Vance. She was the third child and the second daughter. The family lived on a small farm that Henry had obtained in 1846. Henry and his wife were stern parents and adhered to the principle, spare the rod and spoil the child, and children should be seen and not heard. Celia, or Silly, as she was known as a child, attended Sunday school, learned biblical parables, and was taught to live by the Ten Commandments. When her older sister Martha was Jane, was 17, she married Charles Probst on July 1, 1870. Celia had no desire to live on the farm for the rest of her life. In mid-1868, Celia ran away with her younger sister, Sarah, to avoid farm life. Celia was a reasonably skilled seamstress and may have sought work in that field. Both but both girls found life on their own very difficult. There were few employment opportunities for young girls. 
They likely headed west to one of the growing towns along the Kansas, Iowa, Missouri border area. Sarah returned home less than a year later, changed and shamed by her experiences. Her parents greeted her cheerlessly and took her back in disgrace. At some point after leaving home, Celia chose the alias Maddie, probably in an effort to conceal her identity and remain as anonymous as possible. However, court records indicate that she continued to call herself by her childhood nickname of Celie, which was often phonetically spelled by the court clerk as S-A-L-L-Y, Sally. No court records have been found throughout her life using the name Maddie. The first known record of Maddie's presence is a picture taken at Fort Scott in 1871 it's not known where she and Sarah spent the intervening time. Court records show that she adopted prostitution as her profession beginning in 1872 in Fort Scott, then later in Dodge City. Maddie Blaylock may have met Wyatt Earp between 1871 and 1873. She continued to work as a prostitute during their early years together in the 1880 United States Census, Blaylock is listed as Wyatt's wife, through the, though there is no record of their legal marriage. Blaylock was said to have suffered from headaches, and while in Tombstone, Arizona, she became addicted to latinum, a then common painkiller. It is not known exactly when Earp and Blaylock ended their relationship. After the gunfight at the OK Corral, Blaylock left Tombstone with other Earp family members for Cotton, California. She apparently expected to receive a telegram from Earp telling her where to meet him, but it never arrived. Instead, Earp went to San Francisco in late 1882 and began a relationship with Josephine Sadie Marcus. On July 3, 1888, Blaylock took a lethal dose of latinum and alcohol. Her death was ruled a suicide by opium poisoning. A longtime abuser of latinum and alcohol, it is possible she overdosed by accident and died of respiratory depression. The coroner's report of her death is brief. She is buried in a cemetery in Pinal, Can Pinal City now a ghost town and located just west of the former cement and mixing town of Superior, Arizona. So that's the video on Maddie Earp. Uh, like I said, this, I think that was the only like real, you know, modern looking headstone that was in that place. Um, so real cool cemetery. Uh, like I said, just a little hard to get. It ain't very far off the main road, but you gotta take we we was behind a uh, a four wheel drive club it looks like about seven or eight four wheel drive vehicles come barreling through there and we wound up basically following them to the to the cemetery because that's what they were going to so anyway thanks for watching uh make sure you like share subscribe and make sure you comment uh like to see the comments so let me know what you think about the video appreciate it thanks for watching